so the pathogenesis of enteric fever or you can say that the typhoid fever okay so you must know that typhoid fever is caused by the salmonella typhi okay so when the salmonella typhi enters into your gut okay so let's assume this is salmonella typhi that has entered into your gut in your small intestine near the ileum okay so when it came near the ileum part the cell known as m cell the microfold cells will take it into will take it inside it okay and then it will further go to the lymphatic part of the gut okay that is your clear patches the clear patches and then in the clear patches the resident macrophages the resident macrophages will engulf this bacteria and then this then this macrophage will get into mesenteric lymph nodes where you can see that these types of structure okay these are the bacteria okay now what happened these bacteria will from here will go to the blood vessels so it is the first time when this bacteria has gone into the systemic circulation of the body so hmm. this is known as primary bacteria okay primary bacteria as it is as it is in contact with the systemic circulation it will go and can infect the other body organs like the liver your bone marrow okay liver bone marrow um structures like kidney okay in liver in your gall bladder it divides the most most division occur in the gall bladder okay the reason is the gall bladder provides the nutrition nutrition to the bacteria now again these bacteria will go again in the systemic circulation but this time these are known as the secondary bacteria so these secondary bacteria will further go and affect all organs and it result in a immune response of fever okay immune response of fever and this bacteria and this bacteria will do one more thing that it will go again in this those pear patches and this time this is known as re-exposition okay re-exposition of the pear patches to the bacteria so this is the whole pathogenesis of enteric fever how it occurs and how the whole bacteria will go from m cells to macrophages and then macrophages to the systemic circulation okay primary bacteria secondary bacteria and that's how it increase in number okay